Diamond Fernandez here with heart health tip number nine, I believe. We're February 11th and we're talking about heart health tips this month. And today I want to talk about cardiology testing. And I want to talk about when the specific cardiology testing that people think that they need is uh, when they should get it and when they should not. So what I'm really talking about is, is kind of like angiograms where we want to look at the plumbing issue. We want to see, okay, what's going on inside of these pipes? Because people think of these pipes like, 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 like a plumbing problem and it's not a plumbing problem. And this is where I think it's important to understand specifically the testing I'm talking about is angiograms. When should you get an angiogram and when should you not? When you should have an angiogram is when you're actively having a heart attack, what we call acute coronary syndrome. Now, I don't feel it's necessary to get an angiogram, and then there's certain situations, and we can talk about that on individual cases, to look at it on a preventative basis, meaning that we're just going in to see what are these blockages or what is the plumbing problem going on, because there's a certain population that we should consider that and a certain population that we should not. So getting an angiogram where we're looking in to the plumbing problem of the arteries is not the way that you wanna prevent heart disease. There's other testing that you can do to see what's going on. So. This, this post is really quickly talking about when you should get an angiogram and when you should not. When you should is when it's an emergency or an acute coronary syndrome. When you shouldn't, you shouldn't do that any other time because what happens is, is again, inside the artery walls, or that's why the, my first posts were talking about the inside the artery walls, all skin. It's like the skin outside my body, like we talked about that. I can go in and do more damage than good if I start doing angiograms on a preventative basis. So this is Diamond Fernandez here with the HeartFit Clinic, and we look forward to helping you live happier, healthier, and longer.